are back hoping you are learning and also are getting uh, all the details you need to know on matters because I believe 80% uh, if not 100 of you have a business either maybe you sell mutumba either you sell anything you sell you have a shop you have a salon I am sure and you're even preparing to go to work and so this money and business Monday is for you and so that is my hope and prayer that you're learning and uh, remember even before we get to the business part we are also here to remind you that Miss Pa House of Prayer have uh, uh, partnered uh, with the Miss TV and also uh, they are here to welcome you to the Congress from 4th to 10th of December and uh, we are having guest ministers who will be part, uh, be part of this we'll have our very own Apostle Jessica Ranja who uh, together with uh, Reverend Dr. Margaret Karanja will be among the speakers. Also, we'll have a speaker by the name Bishop Dr. Nancy Wangari from um, AACF uh, Banana. Also, Apostle Julia Subi from Nairobi. Prophet Paul Maneke from Nanyuki. Uh, Bishop Patrick Karuki from Meru. Bishop Nancy Kinothio from Nakuru. And uh, Pastor Bill Garutson uh, from Norway. And uh, the entry is totally free. To those people who are asking to put your number as up yes, our 0727 we call that number for bookings directions or any other inquiries you might have concerning uh, the congress of uh, the december 2023 and back to money and business monday we are having with us uh, sir joseph mwangi uh, who is the principal of Nakuru Training Institute? Also, if you're looking for a way where you want your child to learn, also Formu Nigani, Formu Nakuru Training Institute. Also, he is an ICT expert, and so we're here to talk about uh, integrating, you know, technology into your business. And he told us of some of the ways that you can actually do that. We know sana sana of Facebook, Tunajua maybe websites and all of that, and so. Maybe it's good that you also get to know more about this. Also, you we were talking about the bulk, uh, the bulk shipping. Was it the bulk shipping? The drop shipping. The drop shipping. Yeah, that's the word. Uh, where you get to maybe uh, you may you may ship things from outside Kenya, bring to your people. They also get to on order, and also you get to earn. And so Ethiopia, in a benefit where we come out nyumbani and you're looking for something to do, you can choose that and all you need to do is get online Utapata so many um, websites that are doing this but he said something very important that I also would like for him to add on to and so Karibu to Zidi Kusemezana welcome back Thank you. and so on adding more into it you were talking about there needs to be a, a padlock mm -hmm. you know so many people are losing money online you yes. know the rate of, uh, the rate of uh, uh, scam mm -hmm. you know it's increasing day by day yes. and so it is good when people wanna janjaruka kuliko our you mm. know so mm. you are talking about a padlock and maybe yeah. someone maybe could not, uh, did not understand yeah. about it in details yeah. so where exactly should do the people expect to see the padlock uh, very well <laughs> now yes. if you're using a desktop or a laptop mm -hmm. uh, and you google a page mm -hmm. like uh we, we, we yeah did, we just did yeah uh, like bank good mm -hmm. from thailand mm -hmm. or um any other that, that, that is available. Mm -hmm. Alibaba. Mm -hmm. You might get many Alibabas that mm -hmm. have been formed. Oh, but it's yeah. alibaba.com, alibaba.inc, yeah. yeah, something. Yes. So these guys are trying to copy that page mm -hmm. uh, so that they can, they can loot your money. Mm -hmm. So one of the safest ways to do is once you write Alibaba mm -hmm. or whichever site, mm -hmm. .com, mm -hmm. then it, once it loads the page, mm -hmm. There is the address bar where you see the address yes, bar. Yes. Uh, it should start with HTTPS yes, yes. and then it should show a padlock. Mm -hmm. Now, on handheld devices mm -hmm. like tablets or smartphones, mm -hmm. then it may not show the full URL, mm -hmm. what we call the uniform resource locator, but mm -hmm. it will show you the padlock as an image. Okay. okay? okay. Uh, before Alibaba, mm -hmm. it will show you a padlock. Yes. Then that tells you this is a secured site. Mm -hmm and uh, it has what we call a secure certificate. Mm -hmm. So whatever transactions you do there, you, they are encrypted. In other mm -hmm. words, nobody can steal your information yeah, when yeah. it's being transmitted. Mm -hmm. Remember when you are doing online, if you are placing an order of items like mm -hmm. mobile phones mm -hmm. from Thailand from yeah. or from, from China, yeah. you, you pay using uh, your credit card. Mm -hmm. okay? yeah. So uh, at the back of the credit card, mm -hmm. you, you put the, the card number 
and then you put the last three digits. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're yeah. called the CSB digits. Pale uh, kwa card, not sure online. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's that one is also a secure code. Mm -hmm. Now, when that data goes and falls into evil hands, yeah, they will nice. yeah they will clear your account yeah. because they can use it to make payments elsewhere. Mm -hmm. But now, when you are you are you want to verify that you have a secure transaction. Make sure that any transaction you are paying online, then it has to have the, 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 padlock. the padlock. Okay. When you create your site and you want to have online payments, yeah. mm -hmm. again, you have to buy. Th those are called security certificates. You mm -hmm. have to buy. Uh, any web hosting company will allow that. Mm -hmm. uh, Safaricom does that f fairly well, and mm -hmm. it's very cheap mm -hmm. because they are supporting businesses in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're able to, to, to have your site also mm -hmm. as a secure site. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have businesses, mm -hmm you can create besides having your facebook as a person then you have a facebook page yeah uh, where now you can be able to sell and and showcase like a business portfolio yeah. that is now online mm -hmm. you are able to demonstrate to the to the to the larger public yes. what products and services yes, that you can offer yeah. uh, when you do it on facebook then you can also have uh, your WhatsApp for business mm -hmm. instead of the ordinary WhatsApp. Yeah. You do WhatsApp for business. Mm -hmm. Then you can always upload photos. Make mm -hmm. sure that if it is service industry, mm -hmm. you don't put persons' photos without yeah. their consent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other products like cabbages, mm -hmm. eggs, those ones <laughs> yeah. you can do Free, as many yeah. as you want. Mm -hmm. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And so coming also, you mentioned about the, to ask that about the, um, the getting your own website. Mm -hmm. So is it wise for an individual? Maybe you're just growing your business business to mm. have a website maybe you've chosen to have the line online line you mm. know that is where you're, you're integrating the yeah. technology yeah. is it wise for startups to have a website uh, it's not necessarily uh, a requirement mm -hmm. if you're a startup okay. because there are other free avenues mm -hmm. you can have a Google my business site which mm -hmm. is free mm -hmm. Oh, okay. it's free mm -hmm. purely and it's managed by Google mm -hmm. and once you tweak it well mm -hmm. even when people search it appears it, it has something you call the search engine optimization mm -hmm. so if you are searching for example on a crew training institute mm -hmm. you will see that it appears in the first in the first page okay. almost 10 times yeah. and on the right side of your browser mm -hmm. it will also show you the location the mm -hmm. contact details That's and everything true. else yeah. eh? so it has been optimized mm -hmm. to show those details mm -hmm. and that is fairly for free as mm -hmm. long as you have the, the technology the mm -hmm. technical know-how how yeah. to do it yeah. um, but then Facebook is also free mm -hmm. nobody charges anybody mm -hmm. to yeah. join Facebook yeah. so if you leverage on Facebook mm -hmm. on Google because most people go to Google see Google see mm -hmm. yeah. Google it after online it after online to Google and after so have it on Google have it on Facebook okay then have it on your WhatsApp for business. Mm -hmm. Then as you grow, you take the baby steps. Mm -hmm. Then now you can have a full site. Uh, and again, there are free sites that mm -hmm. are managed for free. Mm -hmm. But uh, those have their own issues because they may have a lot of advertisements from other companies who are hosting you. Mm -hmm. Because now they say, we host you for free, mm -hmm. but we but advertise. Now, yes. yes. So you can choose uh, to have a site. Mm -hmm. To register a domain is around 1500 mm -hmm. Uh, and to, to have it hosted per year is around 1500 mm -hmm. so it's around 3000 shillings mm -hmm. then to have it designed is around 10000 mm -hmm. shillings so the design cost is a one time mm -hmm. but the host and domain registration is recurrent annually so mm -hmm. you have to pay annually mm -hmm. to the internet service providers or the host company like safaricom mm -hmm. or the others that do that mm -hmm. uh, you can even host it in uh, other parts of the world okay. now the advantage of a website would be now is that uh, you have branded your business mm -hmm. Yeah. people can now come and interact with it yeah. directly yeah. Uh, the dis disadvantage uh, is on access mm -hmm. because it will work better when you are on Facebook and on Twitter and on um, Google uh, my business yeah. when now you have the website because most people g are scrolling through Facebook, through Facebook. Yeah. so if they see it through Facebook yeah. Then they can click the link and yeah. take them to the website, yes, 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 uh, right? Yes. But if you are on website alone without Facebook, oh. then you will miss out that link. Yeah, yeah you will miss mm. out that link. And so many people yeah. are not only searching. You know, the first thing they go to is on those social media yeah. platforms, yes. Facebook and all of that. People, when they wake up, they check yeah. the status. They yeah. go to WhatsApp, mm -hmm. what has been sent, yes. and maybe status of yeah. a few. Yeah. Then they go to Facebook, mm. then they check the updates, the updates <laughs> and they scroll. Yes. Then there is something also we call promotion. 
uh, if you want what you have on Facebook to appear, mm -hmm. you can pay. Uh, now that's where now Meta makes their money. Exactly. You can pay to have that page promoted. Uh, such that now you, uh, you can choose a budget. Mm -hmm. They charge around uh, they charge around two hundred shillings, mm -hmm. like a dollar, mm -hmm. uh, to, for that to be viewed mm -hmm. by up to two hundred people within yeah. a day. Yeah. So you can do a budget like five thousand. Then it tells you with five thousand, mm -hmm. we can promote your page, your Facebook page, mm -hmm. to be reached by 10,000 people mm -hmm. within five days mm -hmm. and then within this locality mm -hmm. then you can put your parameters like mm -hmm. the age you yeah, want right. uh, the location people who like what yeah, yeah. okay if you're selling things like uh, wedding rings mm -hmm. then you don't want to sell <laughs> to those Cheap. who people who, who have put on their Facebook status yeah. it's complicated yeah <laughs> so uh, relationship it's complicated they'll never buy yeah, <laughs> so true. yeah so that's what now the machine learning does okay. so it tells you what are the parameters mm -hmm. what is the age group you choosing mm -hmm. so 18 to what mm -hmm. maybe to 35 mm -hmm. maybe those are your products mm -hmm. or it's college so you also want the parents to be aware yeah, so 18 yeah. to 60 yeah, yeah. then uh, or the demographic yeah. if you have ladies products then you have mm -hmm. mostly women yeah. maybe 60 percent women then 40 yeah. percent men because yeah. some men will buy them as gifts yes. to the ladies yeah. right yeah. so all those are measures that you have mm -hmm. to do and now that's when uh, the social media marketing comes in. Mm -hmm. You can become a social media marketer for, for yeah. other businesses yeah. where you're doing it at the comfort of your house. Yes. I've done that for several companies. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Some even construction. I don't know anything about construction. <laughs> you don't know anything, but you are a marketer. Yeah, but we hire for them uh, <laughs> the, the concrete mixers, yeah. the trappers, and yeah, yeah. all that, yeah, and, yeah. and they get their business. Okay. So you set it up. You put the photos very well, mm -hmm. and then now you, again, uh, just promote them. Okay they get the business mm -hmm. so it's it's possible for you to to leverage on that mm -hmm. and if everybody is getting into online businesses then you also if you are lagged behind then you'll miss some of those opportunities that is true. Yes, yes now coming to as much as people are getting into the online business mm -hmm. they mentioned that i'll ask this question right now like there is this concept of like i have I've seen people cry, literally, mm -hmm. you know, they had their pages, mm -hmm. their online pages, yes. their business pages, and yeah. then, yeah. 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 so you're like, okay, how do I know, you know, mm -hmm. even I've seen even media companies, you yes. know, and yes. you're like, okay, I'm trying to get my business online, I'm mm -hmm. trying to integrate, but mm -hmm. watu kunja wataki, watu wa, wa, wa moke mm -hmm. and all that, yeah. so how, number one, can people actually, as they get into the media, uh, mm -hmm. into the technological world, mm -hmm. How do they get to make sure they, they are being uh, they protect themselves? Mm. And also, kuna option kukiakiwa. Is there any way out? Because now you are ICT expert to say dear. Yeah, sasingine ikienda imeenda. Ikienda ime, oh my goodness. Now, okay. number one, we need to appreciate that when you are online, mm -hmm. your security is on the line. Okay. Right. You are online, your security is mm -hmm. on the line. Is on the line. Nice one. Uh, the media, I mean, the, the social media companies, mm -hmm. most of them provide for what you call TFA, mm -hmm. two-factor authentication. Okay. okay. So two-factor authentication is a situation whereby possibly mm -hmm. you are logging in on Facebook, mm -hmm. then it tells you to enter a code on your phone to verify that you're the one eh, logging eh, in. Yeah, All eh, right? Eh. So if, if there is a hacker in, in, uh, in uh, Taiwan mm -hmm. uh, and they want to hack your page, mm -hmm. and the reason why they want to hack your page, number one, mm -hmm. is because they want to, to steal that identity. Yeah. Maybe you have so many followers. Yes. They want to take it up so that they can advertise. Mm -hmm. And advertise uses machine learning. Unaunaga vile mtu anapost kakitu anasema na kuru kuna nyesha leo uh -huh. na maybe it's sunny. Yeah. And then people write comments. Uongo wa kunyeshi, uh -huh. kwanu kwa api. <laughs> no machine, uh -huh. the computer uh -huh. detects that this person is influential. He has posted oh. something and he has received thousands of yeah. comments. That's why nakuta watu wana post vitu wrong. Uh -huh. So that watu na kimbere mbere yao uh -huh. <laughs> wanaenda kwa like correct. Yeah, wanaenda kwa correct. Yes. But by so doing, uh -huh. now the machine learning computes that as this person as being influential that okay. they are posting only one something mm -hmm. and they're getting a lot of feedback People, yeah. yes so uh hackers target those pages mm -hmm. uh, I, I've, 
sometimes my pages have just disappeared. Mm -hmm. One one of my, my main Facebook page mm -hmm. uh, disappeared. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happened is that they, the, the hacker tried to, to hack it out mm -hmm. and they couldn't. Mm -hmm. So they linked it with another page in another site and then that page was, was conducting illegal business. So mine and theirs were all closed. So I, I am, we are still appealing with Meta because I was able to go back and see the IP addresses who, where the hackers were from yeah, yeah. because we could get that data. Okay. And uh, I, I have shared with Meta, but they have not responded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that happens. So one of the things, number one, is to ensure that you have put the two-factor authentication mm -hmm. so that when you log in on your Facebook, it also verifies you on um, yeah, email. On yeah, no, 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 as a text. Okay. There is an app called Duo. D U O. Uh -huh. If you install it, mm -hmm. you can configure your Facebook mm -hmm. with Duo, so that if you log in, it will have to ask you to put the code. On uh, as an SMS. Uh, yes, or, or it appears on the screen on your phone. Are you logging in on your Facebook? Enter the code that you are mm -hmm. seeing on Facebook on this device. So wow. if somebody is not wow. where you are then it, the, you know that is an illegal connection yes, somewhere. Yes, then you, you, you block it. You yeah. say, that wasn't me. It wasn't yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, then yeah. now yeah. it tells you after some time to change the password. Number two, mm -hmm. put strong passwords mm -hmm. uh, on anything that you do. Unfortunately, sometimes uh, Kenyans won't use initials. Mm. Okay, in Jerry yeah. 24. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 1992. 1992. Date of birth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those ones will be hacked like nobody's business. Okay. okay? And yeah. you know, sometimes hackers will ask you details yeah. in bits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's celebrate guys that were born in February. Mm -hmm. uh, now, say, me too. Then yeah. they capture, this is a February yeah, girl. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. celebrate guys that were born on 14th, yeah. me too. Then they have bits and bits and bits and bits and connect. bits. Then they collect. Yeah. So they have, that's called data mining. Mm -hmm. So they are mining data. Mm -hmm. And uh, to any uh, innocent user yeah. online may not even know that they are sharing their data. Mm. Uh, that so then when you put passwords, put strong passwords. Mm -hmm. And in terms of strong, yeah. which strong passwords? Just give us an example because kuna mtu pa na shangaza sani gani imeka zero two four hash underscore nini? Basically. Yeah. Um, you, you use a passphrase, mm -hmm. a passphrase, okay. uh, and then that passphrase, mm -hmm. you combine it with uh, uppercase, mm -hmm. what you call capital letters, mm -hmm. lowercase, mm -hmm. uh, numbers, and a symbol. Okay. Okay? Okay. Uh, a passphrase mm -hmm. is difficult to crack. It takes more time. Okay. We, have, we have password generators that do, do brute force. Brute force means that they, they test any dictionary word against what could be your password and they start with one all the way okay? and they can be tested eh? mm -hmm. so to, to make sure that the brute, brute force attacks will not uh, get into 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 accessing your accounts mm -hmm. use a passphrase mm -hmm. so a passphrase is like a combination of words mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. uh, Nyeri mm -hmm. is called Sana mm -hmm. okay. so that one you'll not forget yeah. but now when now you come to type it, uh -huh. maybe Nyeri, uh -huh. N is capital. Uh -huh. Then E, instead of E, you have put a three. Uh -huh. Then oh. R, I, instead of I, you have put an exclamation mark. Uh -huh. So already you have started mixing it. Yeah. So Nyeri is called Sana, yeah. but maybe the Sana, the uh -huh. instead of A, a. is an art symbol, yeah, yeah. okay, or a capital A. Uh -huh. so, and then it should be many characters, uh -huh. between eight to 16 characters. Uh -huh. That, that would work. Okay. Then again, we are used to saving our passwords mm -hmm. on, on phone. They're on only our devices. asking that. Do you want to save this? Yeah, and uh -huh. unfortunately, sometimes even when you go to cybers, yeah. the cyber guys have put it on default. <laughs> oh my goodness. For <laughs> me, if I use any cyber, uh -huh. the first thing I go there is to clear the default. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want my, to live with my password okay, there. Yeah, okay. Clear the default, yeah. forget passwords, okay. then now I log in. But the guy, cyber guys would want that is more convenient mm. for them because they're in business. Yeah, yeah. But you can also go there and extract so many passwords that have been saved there by so many users, okay, exposing themselves. Yeah. And nowadays, you get that maybe you get your statements on email. Mm. You have, uh, you have, um, if somebody steals your email, mm. they can destroy your life because they can use it if it is the same email on your on your on your account mm. uh, in bank. 
then they can create a new account. Uh, they download an app, log in, enter the uh, forgot password, yeah. it comes to the email, Good. send by email, then they transact as though it was you. Yeah. So that is now identity thiefing. Mm. It's called, called identity theft. Mm. So put strong passwords, mm. avoid sh uh, reserving or storing passwords on devices. Mm. The especially, same part. Yeah, especially where you have shared devices. Yeah. And then avoid using same passwords mm. across multiple uh, platforms. Oh. Yeah. So na kuta mtu anatumia password ya Facebook, ndio ya email, ndio ya kila kitu yake. Ah ndio ya login kwa kwa online banking system. No no no, have different passwords. We are not short of phrases in the world. Put different passwords for different accounts. Then that would also mitigate you from getting getting hacked because if one account is hacked, then you are only limiting you are doing uh, damage control. Mm. Then it is only that yeah. when they have the password. But if it's the same password, then they can quickly uh, yeah, access cross, yes yeah. all all your platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, so you must ensure that you have that. Mm -hmm. um, then if you are doing online purchases, mm -hmm. opening accounts in banks is free. Open a new account that you shall be using it only for doing the online purchases. Oh, so okay. when you need okay. to buy, you load that account, mm -hmm. and then you have to have the bank clear it for the online transactions. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. automatic. Yeah. And then the limits, you put the limits. Mm -hmm. Then when you want to purchase online, you, you, you put the code, mm -hmm. it clears that amount. Yes. And that account remains at zero or very minimum amount. Wow. If you use your main account, mm -hmm. then if you get swiped mm -hmm. somewhere, then the damage would be so severe. Yeah. But you create a new account for just doing online transactions and online payments, and then the, your main accounts re are remaining on, yeah, on the other side. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Remember hackers are not are not newbies. Mm -hmm. These are these are geniuses. These mm -hmm. are good guys. Yeah. Okay, these are trained people. Mm -hmm. They know what happens mm -hmm. and uh, they are there. It's their job. It's their so the job. way we are reporting here, here to work is mm -hmm. the way they report in their black houses to discuss how to penetrate uh, sites and, and mm -hmm. accounts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we need to be on the lookout. Yeah, we should be wise as serpents. Okay, wow. Now you know. Now you know to that person when you say, Mimi sita wengia online to adorere, mambo ni meonyesha. Now you do. Please, mm. number one, make sure you have a very strong password. Make sure also you don't get to save, save. Mm. Sana sana on those passwords where you ask, you go into an account, then unambiwa, do you want to save this password? You say me, yes, mm. please, never. Also make sure you don't use the same password across so many uh, accounts. Be wise. Aki, thank you so very much, uh, Sir Joseph, for allowing us to learn this mm. and also helping us. With you being an ICT expert, I know whatever you're saying, mm. you know, Pia way it is right. So yeah. please follow on that. And so as we get to conclude, I just want to say it is possible for you to integrate your business with uh, your uh, technology, to integrate technology with your business. So don't be left behind. Everyone want to get into the digital world, so why not you? So thank you so very much. Mm -hmm. And uh, also say a big hello to the Nakuru Training Institute. And thank you for mm -hmm. making time to come uh, here, right here, and also share with us uh, the wisdom. Yeah, and that is how we get to wind up on that. Thank you so much for tuning in. After this, we'll be having a woman of God who will be helping us understand more on matters. What will be happening at the Congress? So, Usiachu Nyuma, please stay tuned. Remember, this has been... And we have been uh, with us as, uh, allow me to call you also pastor, you also, that is one of your titles. <laughs> yes. uh, we, have, we had with us our uh, pastor uh, Joseph Mwangi, who is uh, from the Nakuru uh, Training Institute, which is a project that is owned by the Nakuru uh, Christian Professional Association. And also you, also if you're a parent, you can also make sure you get to connect your child with it. And so we take a break, but when we come back, this is Nuru Yasubuhi.